اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to look into how to assess model fit when a model is designed based on GSCA or we are using GSCA in smart PLS. In this case I've got a model with one IV, one mediator, one DV and we can go to calculate basic GSCA algorithm that is generalized structured component analysis in smart PLS. Now this is an approach to structural equation modeling just as we had PLS or variance based or we had covariance based in PLS as well. Now we will start and on the left hand side we will have our model fits. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five model fits. You will see that there are other model fits in GSC as well. GSCA as well, but they are not yet available in Smart PLS, but soon they will be. So how do we assess these? So we are going to look into our estimated model and I've got a few short notes here. So fit, the first one, or rather the first one is SRMR, but here it is, the fit. And I'm interested in this one. So fit indicates the total variance of all the variables that is including the indicators and the components explained by a particular model specification. Now it is like R square in linear regression and the values of fit range between 0 and 1. The larger this value, the more variance the variables is accounted for by the specified model. Now for example, a fit of 50% or rather 5.50 indicates 50% of total variance of all the variables is explained by the model. So in this case, and there is no rule of thumb. Now it is between 0 to 1, the closer to 1, the better the fit. Now in this case, the fit is 0.622, which means 62.2%. And if we come here, we look here, it says that now 62.2% of the total variance of all the variables is explained by the model. Now this is close to 1 so we can say that it is a good fit. Now what is a fit? It is adjusted fit and it is similar to fit but takes the model complexity into account like adjusted R square in linear regression. Now, a fit cannot be interpreted in the same way as fit, that is the proportion of total variance explained, explained. Instead, it can be used only for comparing competing models. Let's say you've got different models and you are trying to find out which model fit is better. Now, based on a fit, you can compare those models. Now, fit S indicates the total variance of all components explained by a particular structural model specification. Now, what is the structural model whereby you are assessing the significance of relationship between variables or components in your study? In this case, obviously it ranges between 0 to 1. The larger of this value, the more variance in the components is accounted for by the specified structural model that is your inner model. And here it is. 0.234 so 23.4 percent and it is for this structure here including the inner model that is the relationship between these variables now finally we've got or rather we've got the measurement model so this is the fit for the measurement model which is 69.9 percent if you look here indicates the total variance of all indicators now here it was components here it is indicators because in measurement model you are assessing the reliability and validity or the quality criteria. So indicators explained by the measurement model specification and it ranges between 0 to 1. The larger the value, the more variance in the indicators is accounted for by the specified measurement model. And in this case, a good amount of variance is being explained. And finally, SRMR. We don't have GFI yet. SRMR, the normal rule of thumb is less than 0 0.08 and if you look here, it is less than 0 0.08. So, in this case, 
overall we can say that this model is a good fit i hope this short session would have helped you understand how to understand the model fits in gsca thank you very much